Hi everybody, very good evening. This is your master teacher Navamita Bhattacharya and a warm welcome to Vedantu J English channel. Yes, today we are going to discuss the most detailed analysis of this, you know, this January attempt that you all have already appeared for. Yes, four shifts are already over, isn't it? Yes, I hope that you all are doing great in it. Uh, so am I audible and visible? Quickly go ahead and let me know. Please. Yes, yes, I am audible and visible. Okay, so uh, obviously we are not going to waste too much time and I am just going to let you know about the analysis part so that you can prepare for those of you who are appearing for the exam on 29th or 30th or 31st, you all can be prepared. This is a very, I don't know how to say it. You guys are lucky, I suppose. Yes, so that you can see these patterns, see these analysis and then you can prepare for it, isn't it? So let's go ahead and uh, quickly go and call up your friends as well. I'm not going to waste too much time. You can just be prepared a little bit. So let's move ahead. Okay. All right. Here we go. First, obviously, I'm going to talk about chemistry because I teach chemistry. So here we go, everybody. We will also see how class 11th topics are, you know, popping up in the exam and how 12th topics are popping up. So let's take a look at it. Yes. For shift 24th Jan, the first shift, what we have seen is from 11th class, 46%, yes, 46% of the paper was actually from 11th standard. And we have also noticed that, we have also noticed that, one second, let me just take this, okay. And we have also noticed, my dear students, that from 12th standard, 54% has come up, okay. All right, 54% have come up. Same thing for shift 2 also, we see that 52% is from 11th standard and 48% is from 12th standard. This was the only shift where 12th grade was a little less than the 11th grade. I think uh, e even in case of 25th Jan, okay. In case of 25th Jan also, shift 2 has seen 52% of 11th grade and 48% in 12th grade. Now coming to 25th Jan, shift 1. You again see that 42% is from 11th grade and 58% is from 12th. So basically what we can understand is from 11th grade, 45 to 50% will be from 11th grade. However, 50 to 54% or so is from 12th grade. Are you understanding this? Yes. So this can be your analysis. That means that you will probably have to focus a little more on your 12th standard. You can see it here in physics as well. You see 57%, 57% and 54%. That means more we have to focus on 12th grade. 11th grade, definitely almost half of the paper is from 11th grade. However, a little percentage for 12th grade is a little more. Do we see this everybody? Are you all able to see it? Yes. Great, amazing. Moving on, same for mathematics also. You can see again that it is 54%, 55%, 50%. That means once again for 12th grade, you are going to focus a little more. Okay. All right, everybody. Now, let's also find out the difficulty analysis. How much difficult was these question papers? Were they really difficult? Were they very easy or moderately? Here, you can check it out that most of the paper, almost half of the paper is actually comparatively easy. Even in case of chemistry, you must have seen that most of them were logical questions or some of them were direct questions from NCRT. I have noticed that Vaseem sir, when he was solving the question paper, he had literally the screenshot from NCRT. So they were directly from NCRT. So my dear friend, my dear students, you do not miss out on NCRT at all. Okay. Apart from that, medium, yes, 35%, 37%, you can see it, but difficulty level is actually quite less. In fact, last year, organic was quite challenging and organic was something that was played around a lot in the question paper. However, this year, even that is not done. Okay, this year, that is also not done. Same with physics, you can see that... Um, 3.45%, 3% and 6%. So the difficulty level is actually very less. Difficulty level is very less. So you don't worry. 
the toughest part of your whole journey towards the JE is actually done. All you now have to do is sit for the exam. You have prepared for it. However, mathematics, yes, we do see a little rise in the difficulty level. It's around 15%, 4%, 6%, percent, but nothing that you have to be worried too much about because you anyway can get the easy part and the medium part well, you know. You can get the medium and the easy part and maybe even if you drop it down, it won't harm you too much, okay? It won't harm you too much. So, you can do this, okay? Moving on, chapter-wise da data analysis, let's do this also, okay? Chapter-wise data analysis, let's do this as well. Now, coordination compounds this time had six questions. In both 24th as well as 25th Jan, we saw that coordination compound had a lot of questions. So, please don't forget to touch this chapter before you go for the exam, okay? Carbonyl compounds also had six, six questions. Atomic structure and nuclear chemistry also had six marks, six marks, S block, five, D block. You can see the data. In fact, I am actually going to send you the PDF. This whole thing will be available to you. Okay, I will send you the PDF in the Telegram channel. Make sure that you that, that make sure that you uh, join our Telegram channel. Okay, join our Telegram channel. Also, uh, this this took me a lot of effort, guys. It would be nice if you like the session as well. Please don't forget to like the session. It will be really, uh, you know, helpful for me and uh, also, you know, kind of motivates me as well to bring you more of these sessions. So, please don't forget to like the session. All right. Anyway, moving on. So, do you all understand this? Do you all understand this? Yes, I'm going to give it to you. Don't worry about it. Yes. So, chemistry, of course, has a lot of chapters, but you can see that all of it is written here. 11th and 12th, both of them. Both of them, both 11th and 12th are mentioned, both 11th and 12th chapters are mentioned. Now, I will also tell you the high weightage chemistry topics. You cannot miss, miss these topics before you go for the exam. So, let's take a look at it. Coordination compounds, definitely not. Carbonyl compounds, atomic structure and nuclear chemistry, S block, D block and F block, general organic chemistry, mole concept, P block, chemistry in daily life, hydrocarbon, thermodynamics and thermochemistry, ionic equilibrium, Chemical kinetics, electrochemistry and chemical bonding. These 15 chapters, this, these 15 topics are very, very, very important. In fact, 70% of the paper is from these topics. I'm not even kidding. 70% of paper is just these topics. Okay. Moving on, moving on. Now, modern physics in physics. Okay. 14. Look at it. Look at it. What is the weightage, everybody? Magnetism and EMI 6 plus 4, KTG, that is kinetic theory and thermodynamics, 9 current electricity, 8 electromagnetic field. You can see all of it. I'll give you the this thing. I'll give you the PDF. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Let me tell you the high weightage physics topics here as well. Magnetism and EMI, KTG and thermodynamics, modern phys physics, current electricity, electromagnetic field, 1D and vectors. Gravitation, SHM, alternating current, fluid mechanics and properties of matter, rotation and error dimension. These are the highest weightage of physics topics. Okay, And once again, everybody, 70% of the paper is just covered by these topics. All right. Don't forget to look at these chapters. If you haven't revised it, I suggest that you revise it once before you sit for the exam. It will be really beneficial for you. Okay, It will be really beneficial for you. Can we get above 50 plus? Yes, you can. You can get 50 plus marks if you study these chapters. Okay. All right. Moving on everybody. Now this is for mathematics. I'm just going to jump to the high weightage chapters because I don't want to waste too much of your time. So definite integrations and area, matrices and determinants, of course, binomial theorem, permutations and combinations, vectors and 3D, functions and ITF, CDD, probability, conics, differential equations and mathematical reasoning. Let me also show you the marks. Yes, definite integration area, 10, matrices and determinants, and determinants 8, binomial theorem, 8, permutation and combination 7. So, you see how much marks you can, how much marks you can achieve just by studying these high weighted chapters. So, my dear students, all the very best to you. 
don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel because you know that we are bringing in as much relevant uh, information for you right here right now and you know we have always supported you throughout your journey as well with this note all the very best may you rock your 29th 30th or 31st papers and by the way your admit cards have come if you haven't checked it please go ahead and check it out all right i will be sending this in the telegram channel and if you know your friends just let them know and uh, you can share this pdf with them or you can share this video also with them so that they can also be prepared for their exam okay bye bye everybody all the very best see you